Happy New Year. Jen from Jekyll Bates. It is January the 1st, 2019. 2018 is out of here. And I hope that you guys had a great year last year, but I hope this one's even better for all of us. So we've got a few pieces to get through this morning. These are getting ready to head up to Canada. And we're going to start with this little perch right here. This is a uh, Schultz wake bait. Actually, I don't think Schultz makes them either, but they are uh, one of the primary distributors of this particular type of wake bait. It is um, a, a black magenta wicked and some copper sepia and a fade down to this gold mustard color. This is uh, the Createx bloodline on the sides. Real good perch color. It's probably one of the best imitation colors that I've seen for yellow perch. And it's that Createx bloodline. And I like to mix my own colors, but when you can find a, almost a perfect shade for a, a match the hatch type deal, um, hey, I'll get it pre-mix. And then I didn't put the uh, the red fins on the sides, but I did accent the two points on the on the on the belly of this bait where you would see that red on those perch and then I gave it some red yellow eyes I believe if I remember correctly that these are the fish skulls living eyes this is the fire color so real cool looking eyes turned out pretty good very happy with it wind is howling outside it's raining it's miserable um and it's going to be that way for the next couple of days backyard is drenched and jenny's not fishing so we're going to do the first workshop of the brand new year this is a uh, clear water gill got some iridescent plum and what I did with this, this has got a couple of different layers on it. So it's got some um, some orange, that real light orange that fades down into that mustard yellow color. Actually, I think this one's the pineapple color. Um, and then I wrapped it, wrapped it in the uh, Peloton Wonder Web and shot plum over top of it. So you can see those little pieces of, of purple that kind of flow through there. It's a pretty good winter bait as well, winter and spring and then laid down some burnt umber in the stripes and you can see that there's a little bit of mist that's in blue and green there's a little turquoise in that left this throat clear didn't put the orange blush on it because you don't see that bright red or orange throat on all of them and some pretty good eyes on that as well and uh, when I made the, uh, the line down here, this little white, that's just a, a very thin, double zero round artist brush. And you can pick those up at your, actually I think Walmart even sells round brushes. Pick those up at your local hobby store, Hobby Lobby Michaels. An Ozark Goblin Crawl in a wiggle wart. Very transparent. Shot a little bit of gold and copper over the black eyes and then added a little bit of patterning into this bait. This is the Lake Erie in the dinger pressing of that 120 SP. Great walleye bait. Love it for walleyes. Going back to our wake baits, this is the spring crappie. A little bit of blush orange on the throat, a little bit of just barely plum on the belly and tail. And these are not um, hard form stencils. These are actually the art tools or art tool by uh, Iwata Media or Medea, however you pronounce it, um, the FX mini template. There's a link for those in all the descriptions below, so you guys can pick that. And this is the uh, Fish Skulls Earth color, the Living Eye Earth. Also a really, really good eye. Love the eyes. They look like they're moving with you. Very cool. 
Grim Reaper Popper. Bright, bright, bright red into the mouth. These are those uh, flow through gill technology. A lot of people ask me how to uh, keep the epoxy from sticking in here. And I basically, I take my, my drip wire that is usually hang, hanging on the tail and I push it through and that clears those out. You can see that's clear in there. So you get that water to come through. And then just don't double coat these. These are top water. They'll get bit and they'll get scuffed up. All baits get scuffed up eventually. But just take that tail tail drip wire and run it through. This is an old school style. I normally don't even do craws in this pattern anymore, um, but it was a, at a customer request. So we made it happen. A little green on the nose. Those half eyes, and I just cut the eyes in half. I mean, you can get them preformed in half, but if you have an X-Acto knife, it's just the other eye to this. And I kind of like, now the Little Johns come with smaller red eyes. They're very, actually they're very small for the cavity that they're in. Um, I, I like putting bigger eyes on them, giving that fish a bigger target. Looks just as angry. Cool bait though. These, um, these have been going like gangbusters. This is, uh, it's a new pattern for me, but it's a really good small mouth pattern. Super good. Um, you got the, this is another Createx bloodline flowing into, this is the red, the blood red, into a pineapple Createx pearl. And then I've shot on these little guys, I've shot the uh, FW pearlescent white. And they're clown colors. It's the red and yellow. It's traditional clown colors, but we just tricked it out a little bit. Added some custom striping to it. And those iridescent glow-in-the-dark eyes. So, super happy with how these turned out. I've got it in a bigger one out there. i got to build a second one of those. And, last but not least, for I think that's all of it for down here. Yep. Um, deep Seed. Shot that magenta black across the top. And on these, I'm laying down uh, two shades of blue. One is that Maui blue, and the other is the Indi or the sky blue. And then wrapping the bait and shooting the pumpkin seed colors over it, and then pulling that up, and you get that really cool marbling effect. Some fun eyes. Yeah, but these things are awesome. And yes, Matt Monahan, these are triple sealed because they're going up to Canada. So, and there you have it. Um, getting some testers in. People are starting to send me testers from China. Hey, check out my stuff. Um, this kind of looks like the Aruku that's floating around the States. Very similar, but it's lighter weight than the blank that's in the States. So we'll see how it swims, but starting to get bunches and bunches of stuff from overseas so i'll test them out see if anything is worth spraying or saving and i'll let you guys know how it worked out happy new year enjoy the rest of this year i've got lots more to show you um leave a comment if you guys have any questions if you need links for stuff i'll be happy to help you out you guys take care we'll see you later cheers and happy casting <laughs>